Hello and welcome to another Philball Photography tutorial. I'm not really sure that I would call this a tutorial, but uh, I wanted to just uh, walk you through uh, a modification I made to these images here. And um, I guess I should start with what I started with. This is what I started with. This is a photo of my friend's S2000. We did a shoot for a online blog, um, and I liked it. This was kind of my favorite uh, shot, actually, of the shoot. Uh, but when I looked at the background, I looked at the parking lot and the trees and I thought, you know, this would look really cool if these were palm trees and this was some kind of beach or something like that. Uh, so I went on to Flickr and had a look around and I found this image here, uh, which I'm just going to back up on. This is the image that I found and um, I've actually linked to it in the description on my blog. But uh, it's Creative Commons license, so the guys happy to let people kind of use it for non-commercial things and that's that's what I'm doing, just playing around with it. Um, downloaded the full res thing and uh, go into edit and transform perspective and what you do then is you pull the corners down um, and it, um, if I just uh, step forward here I pulled the corners down just kind of went by feel basically um, and just made this uh, distort so that it looks like these trees are smaller in the distance so instead of it being like straight on it looks like these are sort of vanishing into the distance a little bit uh, it was just a guess um, I was happy with what I got so I then selected all and copied brought them over here into a layer I'm going to turn that layer on now you, you can see it's kind of a little different I, um, I still did a transform to it and pulled it up and rotated it to make it um, where the uh, horizon was roughly in about the right kind of place. And then I uh, desaturated the blues with the hue uh, hue saturation uh, controls. And um, and then I also added a layer mask to um, clear out the image in front of the car. Um, and that's pretty cool because also um, it doesn't ma then matter what I do to that layer, it just cuts out just that little bit. Um, because the next thing I had to do was create this motion blur and that's just kind of tricky because the vanishing point is off the page so what I had to do was go into uh, image canvas size um, and extend the canvas way out to the left and give myself a place in the image to put the vanishing point and then when you go to do the filter blur motion blur, uh, it's a radial blur uh, with the zoom method you can put your um, blur center way out on the left side of the, the image um, roughly approximating where the vanishing point is um, and I just gave it a blur of 5 in this case I probably could have gone a little bit less than that um, and it would have worked anyway but uh, that's how you sort of fake that, that motion blur now um, on the bad side of things it does blur things like the sky and the sea in the distance which it really shouldn't um, but because there wasn't much on the ocean there were no boats it was just a horizon so long as you line it up with the horizon uh, it doesn't look like it got um, too badly blurred. Um, and then there was one more thing to do. In the original image, I had the sun peeking through these trees and uh, causing this sort of lens flare. And I really liked that about the original image. Uh, but of course, dropping this in didn't didn't help that. So I, um, I let some of the um, sunlight back through up here. Um, and then I added a lens flare to it again. It's just a fake one this time. So I copied this I've got like a library of lens flares that I can just throw on top of images uh, copied this on to a new layer and then set that layer to linear dodge so the black stuff disappears it only adds what is not black and um, that's the lens flare added in uh, so with some uh, with some careful distortion and um, some hue and saturation uh, changes uh, also bumped the greens up a little bit try and match the green of the grass behind him uh, but really, I mean, that image was just made for this because um, it, the the ocean was empty, the trees were there, the grass was green at the bottom of the image, the sky was blue, and that was it. It was really simple. Um, and then, of course, because it, he was driving past trees on the actual photo, that's what's reflected, and you can't really see that those aren't pine, uh, uh, those aren't palm trees because uh, you can't see that much detail. Uh, the grass is behind the car as needed. Uh, so it really all just just fit perfectly into place, and um, kind of like the result. But uh, I really just thought I wanted to uh, talk you through the process of that. Um, this is kind of stuff that gets done all the time. Different backgrounds get dropped in, fancy skies get dropped in um, in Photoshop, 
um, to make what was otherwise a pretty ordinary location look pretty exotic. So anyway, hope you liked it. Thanks.